Finally, in this lecture, we are going to talk about the last life cycle hook of Angular called as ng on destroy. So this ng on destroy, it is the last life cycle hook of an Angular component or a directive. Now Angular fires ng on destroy hook just before the components gets destroyed. That means just before the component is removed from the DOM. Let's try to understand this with an example. To understand ng on destroy lifecycle hook, what I'm going to do is in the parent component, that means in this app component, here we are using the selector of demo component. Now on this selector, I am going to use ng if directive. And we know that this ng if is a structural directive, so let's use an asterisk before it. And to this, I'm going to assign a property and let's call this property maybe destroy. Now let's go ahead and let's create this property in the app component class. So here I'm going to create this property. It is going to be of type boolean. And initially I'll assign it with the value true. Or actually let's give it some meaningful name. So instead of calling it destroy, I will call it to destroy. Okay. And initially I'll set it to false. And this should be to destroy. And let me copy this property name and let's use it in our app component view template. Now, initial value of to destroy is false. So, when the to destroy is false, at that time we want to display this component. For that, in front of this to destroy, I'm going to use not operator. So, initially it is false. When we are using this not operator in front of it, it will be set to true. So, this expression here will return true. In that case, we are assigning true to this ng if. So, in that case, this component will be displayed in the web page. But as soon as this to destroy becomes true, in that case, when this not operator is used in front of that, this complete expression will return false. And this component here, it will be removed from the DOM. So when this component is removed from the DOM, we can say that the component has been destroyed. Okay. And this ng on destroy lifecycle hook, it gets called just before the component is destroyed. Or just before the directive is destroyed. Now I'm going to add two line breaks here and I'll also add a button element here. Let's say show hide. Okay, and on this button element, I'm going to bind click event. And when this click event will be called, I want to call a method, let's say destroy component. Okay, let's go ahead and let's create this method in the app component class. So here I'm going to create that method. And inside this method, I'll simply go ahead and I'll set this dot to destroy equals not of this dot to destroy. So basically, if the value of this destroy property is true, in that case, we want to change it to false. And we want to assign it back to this to destroy property. And if it is false, in that case, we want to change it to true and we want to assign it back to this destroy property. Okay. Now the initial value of this to destroy property is false. So in that case, since we are using a not operator on it, this component will be displayed in the web page. Now let's go to demo component.ts file. And let's create the ng on destroy lifecycle hook. This lifecycle hook, it is provided by on destroy interface. So if you want, we can also go ahead and we can implement that interface. So here I'm going to implement on destroy. And in order to use this on destroy interface, we also need to import it from angular slash co. All right. And inside this on destroy lifecycle hook i'm going to use this console.log statement and there i will say ng on destroy hook called and just to keep things simple let's go to app component.ts file and from there let's comment these two lifecycle hooks all right with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page let's open developer console here And in here, you will notice that 
all the life cycle hooks of this demo component has been called. So ng on changes have been called, ng on init has been called, ng do check has been called, ng after content init has been called, ng after content checked has been called, ng after view init has been called, and ng after view checked has been called. But ng on destroy life cycle hook that has not been called yet. Because what has happened here is the demo component has been rendered in the web page, but it has not been destroyed yet. The ng on destroy lifecycle hook that will only get called just before the component is destroyed. Now, when this demo component will be destroyed, when we click on this show hide button, initially the value of this destroy property is false. So when we click on that show hide button, the value of this destroyed property will become true. On that, we are using this not operator. So this complete expression will return false and that will be assigned to this ng if. And in that case, this ng if will remove this demo component from the web page. So that means that when this demo component will be removed from the web page, we can say that the component is destroyed. And just before the component is destroyed, the ng on destroy lifecycle hook gets called. So if you go to the web page, and when I click on the show hide button, just notice what happens. You see that demo component has been removed from the DOM. And here you can see ng on destroy hook called. So keep in mind that this ng on destroy hook gets called just before the component or the directive gets destroyed. Now let me clear the console here. So now when I click on this show hide button again, it is going to set this to destroy property to false right currently it is true it will set it to false and when it will set it to false again we are using this not operator in front of it so this expression will return true and when this expression will return true this ng if directive it will add this demo component back to the dom and when this app component will be added to the dom that means the component will be initialized and all its life cycle hook will run again so let me show you that. So now when I click on the show hide button, you can see that the demo component constructor has been called. Basically, the demo component has been initialized and after it has been initialized, all its lifecycle hook has been called. Only the ng on destroy lifecycle hook has not been called yet. That will be called when we destroy this component. So I hope the ng on destroy lifecycle hook is clear to you. So this ng on destroy lifecycle hook gets called just before the component or the directive is removed from the DOM. And this ng on destroy hook, this is a great place to do some cleanup work because this is called right before the component or the directive class object is destroyed by Angular. So this is the right place where you would like to unsubscribe to observables and detach event handlers to avoid memory leaks. So any cleanup work which you want to do for your component or your directive, you can do it inside this ng on destroy lifecycle hook. And this ng on destroy lifecycle hook, this is the last hook of a component or a directive. Now, as we have learned earlier, these eight lifecycle hooks, these are available for a component. But all these lifecycle hooks, these are not available for directives. So out of these eight lifecycle hooks, these four lifecycle hooks are not available for directives. So you cannot use these lifecycle hook methods in a directive class. All right, so this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.